Yeah, it's something, it's really strange looking. I don't know what is going on with that. <laughs> Not really. It doesn't say they stumbled it that far in advance, right? Yeah, baby. Oh, yes. I'm gonna give you a position. I'll have you uh, trundle over there because we're gonna set up a, a high-frequency survey. Uh, I'm sure of what we're seeing here. Uh, the the dimensions that we're able to derive from this this image is conclusive. Uh, the the length on this ship is about 258 to 259 meters as we can measure it in length, and the width is about 32 meters. So um, it can be none other than a Kagi. You measure on here? Yeah. What's this one? Up to the flight deck. I, you know, she's going to be buried, buried into the mud a bit. I'm going to run 25 meter altitude. So as the mission winds down, you get to that point to where, you know, are you going to be able to find what you're looking for? And, and so this was very gratifying. Near Pearl Harbor and essential to its defense is the American outpost of Midway. If this defense line were to be breached, the United States Navy would be swept from the Pacific. American planes had been giving the Japanese a savage hammering. The Japanese task force was routed. They lost four modern aircraft carriers, two heavy cruisers, three destroyers, and suffered severe damage to other ships, including battleships. She's sitting upright on her keel. Uh, we can see the bow, we can see the stern clearly. You can see some of the gun emplacements on there. You can see some of the flight deck is also torn up and missing, so you can actually look right into where the flight deck would be. Get a little bit closer. 